let's keep moving. Let's head to the Monarch. I think I completed everything that was behind me. So, uh, let's head here. Stellar landing bay, this sounds... I do not want to die. I... It's two areas, I gotta be careful. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Okay. Welcome back, Captain. Hey, How can I be of assistance? What if I got any dialogue with her? Got a minute? I thought. have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Hmm. What if I don't have a power source? I prefer source? to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on a lost hope? I when guess I simulate so. myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. No. I think. My self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Aw. What about your last captain? Do you miss him, or is the captain the same as an... Or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Hmm. Have there been other captains on the ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Hmm, okay. How can I be of assistance? Hmm, I guess that's See it. See you soon, Captain. Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Like a dick. Oh my gosh, I am thirsty as hell. Oh my gosh. Drink up. Find something to drink. Um, no, not cigarettes. Whoa, 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 it's Rizzo's. I don't know why I sing that all the time. Uh, still very hungry. Hmm. Nope, nope. Mmm, frozen dinner. And, let's see. Oh, I'm still hungry. Jeez. I must have done something. A little bit more. Let's try this. It seems like the meat always works. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you, you don't know what I mean. I'll lock up behind you. There is... Go back. There are so many missions that we have to do. Hmm. I need to contact with the broker through a well-known game hunter named Sequoia. So look for it there. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start off with the first. Bring my girl. And should I bring Sam? No, I did that last time. Hmm. I haven't seen Vicar in a while. And I think he has a mission on this planet as well. This definitely looks like a wasteland, and I can tell you just by looking this at this, there is not a 
There is no Halcyon like sales going on up up in here. I, I don't see it. Stellar Bay. Looks rusty, I like it. Before that, we gotta look for loot. Always hiding it. Oh, like they know me. Oh, don't jump off. Jeez. Oh, it's a little cute city. Who the heck is this? Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Uh... Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Whatever, I'm not here for chit chat. Wait, don't go just yet. I've been practicing for this. Here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. I prefer to travel discreetly, if you know what I mean. Aw, don't be like that. I never get to do this part. Please. Uh, um, don't make me tell you twice. Hey, easy. I won't stop you. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Uh, that depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Who is the Black That's Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? I'm pretty sure uh, Felix would have said something about that. Uh, actually... Uh, well, why is he called the black hole? On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. Maybe word that differently. Well, Holcomb's had a lot of nicknames over his career. He used to be the tallywhacker on account of what he'd do to the score. Before that, he was the slick stick, because the shots were always so smooth. You're making this up. I swear I'm not. At the start of his career, people called him the hack boss, but no one thought that was very catchy. Okay, sure. I gotta ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Okay. Kind of wish I could have had uh, Felix in here for that, but it's all right. You can continue. Actually, let me go be go back. Let me change it up. Mm. No, I can be Vicar. Have Vicar for a while. And Ellie. I won't change it up on my what account. What are the chances? Of all the times and places we could have been born. Yeah. We're here. 
light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought you were quoting It's a Wonderful Directorate. Okay. Oh, don't start stealing now. Hello? And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding. All over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. I gotta I gotta keep hearing this. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Medallion? Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Uh. Are you? Oh, is this drunk? You think this is drunk? I gotta. Uh, you need to get out more. <laughs> Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. Okay. Sure, another round, bartender. Outstand. What are you doing in They actually show that they drink. Hmm. Hmm, told you could help find the information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, brass. nuts? Wait, that ain't it. <laughs> brass, rats. Let's, let's brass talk tack. business. There you go. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Hmm. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? What? Pill. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Pills? You mean caffeinoid. That stuff just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? I'll be right back. Get Nicoya's medicine from the MSI dispensary. Okay. Saltuna, jeez. No, why would I buy that? You know this shit's gonna be for free. Most likely. I got defense skills. Yeah, this is gonna be for free anyway. Ain't nothing in here. Several phrases have um, been marked off. Right between the eyes, there were three, no, uh, no, four of them. That's wrapped was the big. Oh my gosh! What what is she doing? <laughs> is she all right? She's more of a drunk than uh than Ellie over here. That's saying a lot. Oh, just a lot of people drinking. Are you guys gonna come in? No, you're just gonna stand there? Alright. There you go.
All right, let's get her medicine. This looks kind of cool. Sorts too. She's always cranky. No, I mean more than usual. Wouldn't know. I made it a point to stay out of her way. Hmm. Well, uh huh. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own cathanoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Dang. Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, okay. Oh, dang, Abigail. Oh. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Oh, dang. Have the bedside manner, lady. <laughs> well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Hmm. Let's see. I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing okay. like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. <laughs> Please See? leave medical advice to the professional. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Mm. Actually, the pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. What's the point of lying? Your reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Uh... I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a saucy thing? <laughs> now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Uh-huh, why don't you show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love to. My rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Uh, Nicoya. Oh, her. It's not <laughs> my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. There must be a way I, uh, I can increase the Koya's uh, allotment. Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Hmm. I thought you were in charge around here, Andy. You sure ought to be. What's this one? <laughs> Go to intimidate. Enough of the sweet talk. Get me caffeine or you're gonna need a taste of my own medicine. Well, this certainly isn't worth my good health. I'll get you a dose, but I'll have you know, I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, no! Yeah. And good riddance. That's the last help you're getting from Abigail Edwards. <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you, young man. <laughs> oh, I made her mad. Gotta 
literally broke in here if I wanted to. That sweet old lady. Liver damage likely from result of prolonged alcoholism. Alcoholism, alcoholism. Jeez. It's LE 2.0. What is she trying to drown her sorrows with? There's a character in Fallout 4. Nah, we're not talking about Fallout right now. You're back. Good news? Bad news? All of the above? All of the above? Got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know? Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense of sensible got her head on straight see mm -hmm. Whew, that hits the spot right in the uh oh no there it is there it is yes we're in business mm -hmm. let's go that was fast i gotta see about stalking some on the ship you be careful the first one's free after that they'll offer you gainful employment Mm. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Oh, she just gave me bets. Cool. Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Oh, she just sees a hunter. More of gotcha. a spelunker. Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I, I don't always like say that. Somewhere until you got a spot open. Vicar, wait on the ship. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. like on Terra 2. But out here, the daintier weapons ain't gonna cut it. Mantasaurs require stopping power. Mantasaurs, oh god. Yeah, but what's left after you're done with them? Okay. Time to level up. Yeah. Uh, this, this needs to be leveled up a lot. Either... Oh, I can do them all individually now? I can pickpocket now. Crouch, move speed, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. up real high. Yeah, I really need to get my lockpick and hacking up like real bad. It's getting bad. That's for vendors. That's for armor. You have a way of convincing vendors to pay you more bits than they should. Gosh. Gotcha. I want that one. I need more money. Oh, God. She's got the big gun. Hmm. Increase her lie? Jeez. Well, first things first. We're 
reduces how far the sound of your footsteps shall travel. Not really useful. It's bonus damage to creatures. Ooh, yes, bring that down now. Yeah, she's a hunter. one that's no nah I left it on the ship ah uh, that's right and it's a low level so I wouldn't worry about it I'll modify I know her gun is already modified the blades already modified tinker with it a little bit <laughs> fine. Who are you? Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. What can I, I get you? No, if I'm not one of hers. Just All trade. sales are final, unless you threaten me. I'm kidding. Don't threaten me. <laughs> I love the comedy in this game. I got a 33% discount now. Nice. Sisis pig tumors? They're literally falling off the backs of Sisti pigs passing by. Just flake off the dirt and they're ready to eat. Sisis looks for that's that's anyway we're moving along wrap mask and canid eyes right here hello stranger can I interest you in raptodon tongue or maybe some canid toenails you look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts Sebastian you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves you know I must have hunted a dozen, but I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Man of Pillars ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. <laughs> At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Why would I need those things? Why would I want any of them? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Okay, who's, who's uh, Mr. Pickett? He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. I kept telling him he was a fool for chasing Manta Queen tail. Anyone looking to get familiar with a queen is liable to become the bitch's supper. Man, I'm oh gonna my. have to learn that. Well, I hope he's alright. Haven't seen him in a while. Well, he's gone. He's dead. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Why was he interested in Manta Queens? Who wouldn't be? People who value so person okay, but did you say anything more specific? He kept talking about collecting a queen to take back to Terra 2. Didn't make no kind of sense to me. Manta Queens won't let you collect them. No, they won't. Have you seen a man's queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen a man's queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? All right. All right then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here. 
and head past the abandoned ruins. Past the ruins? That's Manta territory, all right. My professional opinion is that we leave that idiot to his well-deserved fate. <laughs> Last <laughs> manatee I saw was in the wilds out that ways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there too. Okay. What about Mr. Pickett? Yeah. You find him yet? No, 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 no. Let's talk about something hmm? else. Oh, I thought I was going to talk oh, about. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Yeah, I was talking about Cecilia, and you literally won't let me talk about her now. Okay. So you would need these for... Need them for something. Not sure. I am not so sure. Who the hell is this guy? Please, will someone help me? My boy is in trouble. Huh? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Jeez, it's calm more down. more dissolving than melting. But nice. That is not helpful. <laughs> uh... Calm down, take a deep breath, tell me Don't what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? So you suck at being a mom, he I get it. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. Poisonous but he plants? Didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Hmm. Is there a reward involved on this quest? Well, I, I, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is deathly dangerous out there. Yeah. I've got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one if you just bring my Tucker back to me. I won't even be mad at him running off. You tell him I, I won't be mad. This, this mission sounds a little bit weird. Why would he run away he's anyway? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. Wow, lady. Should have listened to his mama. Complete I details. I keep him safe here with me. Okay, okay. Oh, what, whatever. Uh, I'll go find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think in of the them mouth. luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Oh, 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 sorry. Alright. Cecilia. Oh, that's Cecilia, alright. Who the heck is this? Tells me more story is going to be inside here. Fine. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Next to the others. Uh, who are you? Well, new business turns up at last. Who are you? Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not 
voice in the loins. Oh, you need to calm down with all this. To these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Uh, no, you have a meeting with me. You'd be a hit in Byzantium. <laughs> Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Hmm. I'm just looking for an information. Out at Devil's Peak? If you're headed that far, I see you brought the right woman for the job. Damn right. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. No! If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off of food in a sprat fuck colony, I'm going to stab someone. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> okay. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? That's, that was, sounds like... If you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. And now you don't have to play by their rules. Sounds like a deal to me. Yeah. Now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scrapping by, uh, is that it? Yes. Freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. You make a good point. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. Yeah. Just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. That's very Not true. We secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean by that? How long did it take for you to figure that you need to defend your city? That is a very good question. Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Hmm. The Bull 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. <laughs> it is quite the rush. Okay, once you have the Bull 52, what's the other part of your I'll plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. It's... Why is perception down? Oh my gosh. And I guess I'll get I'll go get your uh, Bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Hmm. Before I go, I need uh, to ask you about what something. What can I do for you? 
Mm. I met Grimm, the landing guard. I see. Guard. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Uh, that's it. I was looking for that. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries. We just Producers had this Producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Hmm. Oh, Grim asked you to check with you about his tall spell. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. I'll have to go to Velma next. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Okay, I'll... Earlier I heard you say you were having money trouble? Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptidon acid. Yeah, why are you buying that stuff? You normally borrow your money on Raptidon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis worm wings. Yeah, but Whatever why? Sebastian has in stock, really. Why? Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? If you got that many bits to spend, then I've got some trash to sell you. Hmm. Why are you buying? Uh, yeah, I want to see. Oh, I don't need any of it. It's also I can talk to Sebastian. He Wait. doesn't get going about much else. Sort of the strong, silent type. Oh. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. You're gonna get sick, hon. Maybe I can talk to him for you. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. <laughs> I used to have a job where I would literally know exactly what my boss would act if he if she's upset or if she needs something to do or if nobody's working. So, I literally would pick that stuff up by just looking at her gesture and be like, "Okay. Okay, I need to act." So she does the same thing I do. If you work long enough, you notice you notice things like real quick. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Oh, well, yeah, you're a real girl Plus, right now. he's got great legs. Huh? It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Good to have standards, I guess. Yeah. I know what I'm looking for. You really want to be with someone you can't talk to? There are other fishing. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. I. That's all I need Sorry. to know. Sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. Oh boy. Another vending machine. There's, there's actually people working here. What did that say? Mag 2 power? Mmm. Mmm. I would like to, but I can't. Okay. Let's see. Help! Someone's been killed! Huh? I think I'm gonna be sick. Pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. 
I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Oh, now, okay. If you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? The body's in the first apartment on the right. So much blood. Kerr? Kerr? You're gonna leave when you're the one that saw the body? Even Stellar Bay ain't safe these days. The world coming to not much i can do for this guy yeah i'm i'm aware of that hun hmm. this betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made by a team called mostly colonists it's from left field toss ball betting it's a betting thing that he's going through? And also my character is hungry and thirsty again. It's a good thing I got a lot of mac and cheese here. I noticed I got all, there's a lot of liquor in this game. Look at all the liquor, the vodka, there's more whiskey, there's, but what else? L more liquor, more wine, there's an energy drink, I guess I'll have that. This is a caplet, there's, there's barely any drink drinks, but look at, Lager, Jaeger, there's another energy drink. More brew. What is up with this game? It's a drunk person's dream. Time pickpocketing. Oh, that is so much easier than Fallout. That is so much easier. Nandi. Something's leaking from the apartment upstairs. Whatever you do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got him stuck in an hour-long rant about monthly colonists, he'd be fine. Uh, they know about it, too. Hey. Hey, how you doing? This toss ball thing is getting people killed now. Is this, is this what we do now? Take it. Ooh, retrofitted heavy power armor. Nice. Some lemon juice in here. There you go. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Shut up! Okay, this Laura person was upstairs, right above the scene of the crime. We're gonna find out what the hell's going on. Um, space crimes continue. Wait. 
No, that's not it. That didn't slip, gotcha. There must be something else in here. Ah, what, what we got here? Ah, it's just blue. Ah, we got a bag. Some of ragged outfits, all the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. Okay. Somebody must have talked trash about his team, or this might be a betting issue where somebody didn't, uh, somebody didn't pay up. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who no. do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. <laughs> I play for the Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Don't you recognize me? they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? Hmm. This is part of the Goodwill Tour for Halcyon. We're meeting our fans across the colony. Huh. Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. So, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I found this bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. How do you I'd really know like to help. Name? Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Cut the chase. Do you know who did it or not? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Oh, thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. All right. Is this all the TVs for the... That's cool. The Rizzos, Rangers, the Cleo Darlings. I guess that's my team now. Excuse me, lady. This place is huge. There's, there's just... There's wrapped, wrapped everywhere. Too much I to do in here. Sometimes what they're doing on other callings. Uh huh. Think they're watching the same serials, following the same tossball games? I shipped with Ugh. a who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, slept with it. Not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he has himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, <laughs> hence the tin shredder. Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. Jeez, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. It's my alley now. Oh, we. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Shut Bird the heck up. by those crates to market. But what the heck is Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Man, I don't have enough intimidation. Awesome. I got him. 
Whew, that was close. Sublight salvage and shipping reputation decrease. Well, don't kill people. I need to bring up my uh, intimidation, though. I want to get them all up, but it's taking a while. This is a good gun, by the way. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Mioka. Sir, please stop. A sobering effect. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway. I mean, like what can Seriously. I do uh, Isaac Rowe is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? I've taken care of it. The killers are dead. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to reestablish in Sneller Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Oh no, your papers. Uh, sometimes you gotta take matters into your Celia, own hands. Celia, I do hope you're taking notes. I've got to remember some of these quips. <laughs> Indeed, sir. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Nom, 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 nom. Nice, nice. And nobody I never died. Another raft? It'll be too soon. Weren't you a sawbones? Figured you ought to have smelled worse. <laughs> sure, but those things reek like bad cologne. It's different. I'm with you there. At least humans have the courtesy to wait a while before their bodies start to stink. <laughs> Most of them. Truth. Those two are going to get along just fine. There's also somebody else that I wanted to meet up with. She's in the warehouse, I believe. I have to find the warehouse. It is... Somewhere here. Nope. Nope. Ah, here we go. Hey, Delma, I got your cannabinoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. <laughs> uh, take it easy. Uh, it's like I'm just looking around. Uh, what are you talking about, Catherine? Oh, I got this itch. Well, that's if you keep running. Yap. <laughs> Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running. I'm going to do it Did anyway. She now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. Gotcha. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. So one of them doesn't have a job. Got it. What is this about? Uh, the I'm here about the Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm's poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Oh, it's going to Nell? Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about...